Rihanna. Wow, wow, wow. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte powder foundation i'm not gonna lie when it comes to matte products i really stay away from them but after like the nars matte foundation review matte is a really nice finish but the only thing is not a lot of matte products go on me because i have super dry skin you probably can't tell because i'm moisturized like hell but i get flakiness and i'm especially in winter i've been starting to get flakiness on my forehead and around my nose so I thought do you know what it's gonna be an interesting video we're gonna see how this sits on my skin I'm not gonna lie I have tested it out because I just wanted to work with it a bit more before I do the video okay so today's shout out is gonna go to Rafina Bagshaw so thank you so much for your really sweet comment I really appreciate it um, and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment okay so I have the little booklet here and it says there are 50 shades it's blurry long wear non cakey light as air no flashback crease resistant sweat resistant and humidity resistant use the included sponge to build your desired coverage you can use the powder puff setting brush which I do have for a lighter coverage or a light dusting on top of foundation liquid foundation you can use a kabuki buff foundation brush for a medium to full coverage so it kind of just says like what tools to use or what kind of brushes to use for like your desired coverage. So I'm just looking on the Boots website and they're available for £27, which is not bad because I feel like these product these powders will go a long way. You have 9.1 grams of powder. Just to like compare, I've got a bronzer here. It's got 11 grams and this is a makeup for everyone which has lasted me for years. So I feel like this would last you a good few months depending on how much you wear. If you wear light coverage, this will last you for ages. I know you guys don't like it when I blabber on too much in reviews, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. Oh my God, someone give me some hand cream. It's looking like the cracked desert floor. Peeling, let's just not talk about my face as well. I don't know why, whenever I do foundation reviews, especially I like to keep the white backdrop. This is what the foundation looks like. mirror and then you have the powder puff which just fell out here which I've already tested out and yeah anyways I love the packaging and you know for someone who's like on the go it's not bad so one thing that I do like to do first is moisturize a good amount of moisturizer because like I said if I don't then my makeup sits really bad on my skin a few blemishes here and there this section of my face it's so dry. You know, you would tend to think our oh, powder foundation is only for like oily combination skin. And it can be, but like even though I have really dry skin, at the end of the day, I sometimes have a really oily T-zone. But when I was working on, on Bobbi Brown, they were quite well known for their powder foundations that they had. And I preferred using a kind of like kabuki kind of style brush. It's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use the Fenty 115 brush, which is a really nice, thick, dense brush because I just want a bit a bit of coverage but not too much tap it into the foundation and I'm using the shade 310 I'm just gonna take my time and blend it I'm just gonna do one side first so you guys can see. So I had some I had some redness, I have some like blemishes, I have a little bit of pigmentation around my mouth. And I'm not gonna lie, I did try the Bobbi Brown ones and I can't say that wearing a powder foundation was my favorite thing for my skin type, but this, I've already tried it, but I don't know if you can tell, but it just sits so beautifully on my skin. And it lasts all day long, like really well. But we'll put that to the test today so you guys can see. Just looking if I need any more coverage, but I'm actually quite happy. One side of my skin. 
And that's the foundation side. And I feel like it covered up my scars pretty well. I could concentrate a bit more in those areas. Just cover a bit more. But it's just so smooth. Like, honestly, I need to get in that nose crevice. It's so nice. Like, look at that. Okay, yeah, guys, I'm really happy. I'm going to do the other side. I have a lot of like veins showing through too. Kind of like prefer to use a tap, tap, swipe kind of motion. More tapping, to be honest. But the shade is like perfect for me, honestly. So I just add a bit more on my mouth because we got a little bit of pigmentation. It doesn't completely cover it, but I'm not mad at that, it's fine. That is what foundation is looking like overall and i'm not gonna lie it's so nice it's so nice i didn't think i was gonna when i first saw it come out i wasn't too fast to be honest because i really already like the liquid one but when i actually tried this on because a lot of you've been requesting for a review like it's so flawless and like this is something definitely i would bring on holiday because that's why i get really sweaty this will be perfect for summer so yeah i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup i'm gonna show you how i do it because obviously i'm putting makeup on powder i just go about my day and put my makeup how i usually do so i'm gonna use some tarte shape tape i'm not gonna lie when i use powder foundation i prefer to work with brushes on top i don't want to use something like really damp kind of like a beauty blender basically i've used a few products with this foundation and they sit really well on top of it it doesn't like crease up or clump together does any weird effect this is so nice wow wow rihanna do you know i'm so gassed on top of that i'm around the same shades of rihanna so i'm just gonna put some powder i mean you can use like a lighter version but i don't have it so I'm just going to go with my usual setting powder. Bronzer, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. You can totally skip this step, but I'm going to go in with some Soothing Facial Mist by The Super Facialist. I just felt like when I used this, my, my skin just looked really nice and hydrated throughout the day, but it doesn't make it look oily because I feel like there's a lot of matte going on here. You can totally stop here if you love this finish. I'm showing you the foundation up close. I just love it and it sits on my nose so nicely guys okay so this is the look so far i have no fault to say about this foundation like it i have really dry skin and it looks so so beautiful like rihanna did it again like you can't you can't put a fault on this foundation and i have really dry skin and it sits better on my nose than hydrating foundations which claim to be hydrating, but they make my nose flake. Whilst this is a matte foundation, it's a dry product, and it just didn't dry my skin out. Like, I'm speechless. So yeah, I, I, I think it's an affordable foundation. 27 pounds is not bad. Um, there's a, a good color range. The packaging is great. Like, if you're on the go, it's it will be a perfect powder foundation to use. Um, the product applies amazingly. You can control your coverage depending on what brush you want. You can use this on top of foundation. You can touch up with this throughout the day if you're seeing you're getting a bit oily. Um, like, what is there bad to say about it? Like, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Look how good it looks. But yeah, I love. I just love Rihanna. I just love Rihanna. Providing me with this beautiful foundation. Like, when I start going back to the office, I legit see myself using this, um, this product because it's just so lightweight. Um, so easy to use. I just love that nothing goes like patchy or anything when you start wearing wet products on top of it It's just such a versatile easy to work with um, Product like anyone can use this. So yeah, it's now what time is it? Okay, so it's now 9 20 a.m I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we'll see how this looks. Wow Wow Wow, no joke, this looks so nice. It's 19.31, 7.30 p.m. in the evening. I don't know how long I've been wearing 
goodness, it's been long. Okay, it'll be in the title. I'll calculate later. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of lip balm. I've had no issues wearing this all day. It literally just feels so lightweight. I'm just literally, I'm, I'm, I have no words. Like, it's that good. Do I prefer it to the liquid though? I don't know. Because I'm definitely becoming that person where I just want a quick makeup like a quick natural glam and i feel like this gives me that but i'm so shook right now like how long have i been wearing this no smile lines the only thing i would say is that it has come off in some areas like it's come off my nose for sure like here and like a bit on my forehead it's so flawless i'm gonna touch a bit on my nose let's touch up my forehead wow This is a solid, no, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10 out for this foundation. I would never have thought I would have given a 10 out of 10 for powder foundation. Like, it's just quick and easy, flawless, amazing coverage, but still skin-like, it's so good. Like, and I have dry skin and it's just, there's no oiliness that has come through. Normally by the end of the day, I have a bit here and on my nose. And like, yeah, some places it kind of takes, it, it kind of comes off, but I, one, I did wear a mask, and two, I touch these areas of my face so much. Yeah, it's just something that I'm used to, but one thing that I'm so, so happy about is that there's no smile lines. Like, I get smile lines so easily because your girl's got the, you know, these chunky cheeks. This can definitely be worn on dry skin for sure. So yeah, 10 out of 10, good price, good coverage. Easily, it's easy to apply, easy to build upon. Everything sits perfectly on top of it. Um, good shade range. I hope you found this review helpful and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and do let me know in the comments below what other products you want me to review. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.